Welcome to Bait Factory TV, I'm Dom Garnett and I'm just about to show you a handful of tricks to get the most out of your bait for your next fishing trip. My first tip, just in case you're wondering why this is upside down, is a really easy way to get more flavour into your bait. Um, and it's simply storing your containers upside down, obviously any liquid flavours will run right to the bottom. So when I flip this over, I know that the bits on the top will be really saturated with flavour and you can put in your boilies etc into the mix as well so that they, that they take a really good hit of flavour. You can see with these ones really soaked in to match your loose feed. Tip number two is uh, one for paste which is one of my all-time favourite baits for, for margin fishing in the summer. Uh, it's a great bait but it can be a little soft for the hook sometimes so a really good way of making it stay on is to just hair rig a little boily or pellet and you can literally mould the paste around that um, and then it will stay on a lot better. If you show you there, I've got a simple hair rig 10mm boily. It stays on beautifully around that. It stay on really well and obviously you can put as much or as little as you want. Uh, and, and a further tip, if you want to create a bait that's slightly buoyant or almost perfectly neutral buoyancy, you, re you can replace that boily with a, with a plastic bead. It also works really, really well. Tip number three is for those of you who like to use ground bait, we've got some of the krill and crab arctic mix here. Um, there's no absolute rule that says you have to use a big stodgy ball of ground bait. I mean obviously if we're fishing deep water, yeah it could be handy. But in other situations you'll get a longer lasting cloud if you simply put it in your pole cup loose. So we can, we can put it in nice and loose like that uh, and as you'll see in a sec, when it's in the water if it hasn't been squeezed, it will really linger and create a, a, a great cloud. Uh, it's especially useful for fish like rudd, roach, fish, but also carp. Um, just, just creates a really good scent trail. So rather than dropping straight to the bottom, try putting in your ground bait loose. Really good way of drawing fish into your swim. Tip number four with hemp seed. Great bait, a lot of you will be using it already as a carpet sort of feed for, for all kinds of species. Now great for roach, but also fantastic for tench, carp. Uh, not many people use it on the hook however, which is a real shame because it's a great bait. And one of the reasons for that is it can be quite fiddly, but here I'm going to show you a really easy way to hook it without fuss. I'll show you. You take a baiting needle, you find there's a sharp end if you like of the hemp seed and a blunt end and we find the, the little depression in one end and with a nice sharp baiting needle, you literally poke a little hole in that. You'll see that sticking to the needle now and once we've done that it's really simple once we gently remove that to push a, a small hook through the gap and that will stay on beautifully. Tip number five is for maggots um, and there's absolutely no reason why you can't use natural baits in conjunction with uh, you know your modern offerings, your pellets, your boilies and the rest of it. In fact they work really well together but one thing you can try is using some dry uh, ground bait to flavour your hook baits. So in other words, it couldn't be simpler. I'm just going to take a handful of the, uh, the ground bait, in this case krill and crab again. All I'm going to do is put that straight in my maggots. Give them a mix. In fact, if we can find the lid, we'll give them a shake in a sec. Really easy way of coating your, your hook bait. And once you've done that, it'll, it'll, it'll fish perfectly in conjunction with your pellets, your ground bait, all the other flavours in the range. Last but not least, tip six, really good way of boosting your hook baits is to use a bit of glug um, and all the flavours in the range match up with the other baits. This is a great, great little trick for your pellets and your boilies. Um, we've got a, a tub of pellet there and all I'm going to do is drizzle a nice amount of the oil in there, just enough to coat all the bait, put the lid on, mix it up and uh, you, you can do it on the bank but works even better if you do it well in advance and leave the oil in overnight and as with the oil containers if you store it upside down then the hook bait you pick up first will be full of flavour. Mm -hmm. 